Golo Kante to be sold to Real Madrid or Paris Saint-Germain. Antonio Rudiger to sign a new contract at Chelsea only to potentially be sold to a Bundesliga giant. And are Chelsea really going to get involved in a bidding war with Manchester City for left back Ben Chilwell? These are the subjects that I'm going to be discussing in today's Chelsea news video. <laughs> What's up people, how's it going? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you are all doing well today and staying safe. Welcome to a news video where I'm going to be talking about the subjects I've just mentioned. Certainly some intriguing headlines around Chelsea Football Club media at the moment and ones that I want to express my opinion on to you guys. Before I get into the content today, I want to thank every single one of you who's donated to my NHS fundraiser who also get the opportunity to win a Chelsea shirt. It ends in a couple of days. If you want to do something good and help out the NHS, click the link in the top of the description. Donate whatever you feel comfortable with, and if you leave your Twitter handle, you've got a chance of winning a Chelsea shirt. Alright then, let's get into it. Let's just get Ben Chilwell out of the way, because this is driving me crazy, man. Chelsea are apparently in negotiations with Porto for Alex Tellez, the left back who we know Chelsea have been watching for a while. Now, reputable journalists have said Chelsea are doing business with Porto at the moment, so we know a deal is trying to be struck. How come they haven't got it over the line yet? They can do it digitally, remotely from their houses. People are still making contact. One would have assumed there'd be another signing like that, quite like Hakim Ziyech, I mean, that gets over the line quickly. Well, stories about Ben Chilwell have not gone away, and apparently Frank Lampard is a great admirer of the left back and is still really interested in the player. Perhaps he's his ideal choice. Now, this is worrying for some Chelsea fans if you're at all like me, who was watching Ben Chilwell for the last few months and he was in really disappointing form and of course he would command a massive transfer fee. Granted, because of the health pandemic and the transfer window might be affected, his cost might come down a lot, but reports today are suggesting that Leicester City want Manchester City and Chelsea Football Club to go in well, start a bidding war essentially to buy the left back. Personally, I am not interested in this thing happening. Now listen, I get it. Ben Chilwell is a talented left back. He's England's starting left back and he's a young dynamic player. Sure, he was in poor form, but you don't buy a player for form. You buy a player for ability and as a prospect of, you know, he's really young still. Lampard might think he's the exact player he needs for his long-term project. Fine, I can get on board of that, but I don't want Chelsea to end up spending 70, 80 million pounds on Ben Chilwell because they entered a bidding war with Manchester City and he could slot into the Chelsea team and perform poorly and not pick up form for a while, whereas someone like Alex Tellez looks like a plug and play option at a really valuable price. Mm. So it's interesting, if Ben Chilwell's holding up a Chelsea shirt, I, like many other Chelsea fans, will be excited. It's a new signing with potential. It would be a hard one to swallow if he costs loads and loads and loads of money. And, you know, you still don't know if he's just going to perform immediately. But watch this space. I'll, of course, keep you guys updated. Right, we've got to talk about N'Golo Kante and these new stories about him going to either Real Madrid or Paris Saint-Germain. Quickly, I want to tell you guys, though, only half of you who watch my videos are subscribed. Ha! I snuck it in. So please do subscribe to the channel if you've not yet done so, because most of you aren't subscribed. Anyway, like the video, help a brother out, and let's get on with it. Golo Kante, World Cup winning and Golo Kante, Premier League winning and Golo Kante with two different clubs, consecutive years, FA Cup winning and Golo Kante, Europa League winning and Golo Kante, PFA Player of the Year, EA Sports Player of the Year, Football Writers Player of the Year. N'Golo Kante. Chelsea's only world-class player. I've spoken about this a lot. Amazing, humble, nice guy, you know, unparalleled ability and engine on him, theoretically. Kante, in the autumn years of his 20s, very close to 30 indeed, doesn't look like the player he used to be and obviously seems to be quite injury prone these last, well, 12 months really. Stories have come out a lot, a lot, a lot, or certainly a lot of people speculated that selling a Golo Kante is the right move for Chelsea. Not just because perhaps he's not the player he used to be or he can't potentially deliver in terms of stamina like he used to, certainly in the Premier League, maybe he could in League 1 or La Liga. 
People are thinking, oh, it's so sad, but maybe he can't maintain the same level of fitness. And you can forgive people for speculating this kind of situation. Kante is on £290,000 a week at Chelsea Football Club, by far the club's highest earner, and his wages alone are a massive weight on the Chelsea wallet. And he, as an asset, is still worth a lot of money, even though he's been injured of late and not playing. And on top of that, number three, when he has played for Frank Lampard, because Frank Lampard doesn't play a conventional midfield two, where Kante does his best work as a roaming destroyer, he's kind of struggled to get the best out of him, as did Sari in many ways. Sure, he developed his game more offensively. In terms of getting the best out of Kante in that midfield two as a roaming ball-winning destroyer, we haven't seen the best of him since. So, all things considered, is it time to sell him? Well, 90 Min have published an article on N'Golo Kante and him possibly being sold to PSG or Real Madrid. Apparently a source close to 90 Min have said Chelsea are considering the sale. And also, we know Zinedine Zidane is very interested in Kante and has been since the 2018 World Cup win. He's also interested in the likes of Pogba and Mbappe, but Kante is a big one that's up there. Paris Saint-Germain are also very interested in the Frenchman. So, the reports are saying if the price is right, Chelsea will sell this summer. Pfft, heavy, right? A lot of people in the comments, when I've spoken about this before on my channel, have been on both sides of the fence saying, no, we have to keep him at all costs. And then some people are like, yeah, it doesn't look like he fits in the project massively. Probably seen the best of him. And it's an opportunity to make a lot of money and perhaps strengthen elsewhere on the pitch. It'll be interesting to see what Frank Lampard thinks because he always waxed lyrical about N'Golo Kante upon arrival at Chelsea. And indeed, before when he was working as a pundit, he'd always talk about N'Golo Kante being magnificent and how lucky he was to be working with him. But perhaps just because you feel that way doesn't mean things always work out the way you want. So I watch this space. I'll keep you guys updated on what happens with N'Golo Kante at Chelsea Football Club. And indeed, if it looks likely Chelsea are going to sell him at one point. All right, Antonio Rudiger. Just as Sky Sports are reporting Chelsea are negotiating a new contract with him. Remember, Sky Sports is not gospel. <laughs> we know that now. But also other articles around football media are reporting that the 27-year-old German centre-half has been attracting attention from Bundesliga giants Bayern Munich and Dortmund. He's a German international. He's a widely recognised and respected centre-back. Um, a lot of people from outside Chelsea certainly think he's Chelsea's best centre-back. He's in his prime. You can understand why big clubs might want him. What do Chelsea think about this? Well, apparently they're trying to sign him onto a new contract. Does that mean they're trying to... They've got some sort of gentleman's agreement with Antonio Rudiger saying that we'll consider selling you if you sign a new contract so we can get the optimum value out of you. Do you know what I mean? New contract, higher transfer fee. That's how things work. Maybe these things are mutually exclusive. Maybe Chelsea just genuinely want to keep him uh, and they want to put him on a new contract and time down longer. And incidentally as well, both Dortmund and Bayern Munich are just interested in him because, you know, he speaks German. He's a German international. He's played at the highest level in the Premier League. You know, he's won trophies, FA Cup, Europa League at Chelsea knows what it is to win now and he's in his prime. Both could easily be true. We all know the reports have been saying Chelsea are interested in buying a new centre half, so everyone's constantly been speculating who's going to be the one to leave. Maybe they see great value in selling Rudiger, even if perhaps he wasn't their first choice to sell, and that might work out. Rudiger out, new centre half in, could be. That could be the way things work, man. Personally, I don't know what to think. I could literally make pros and cons for every single centre-back at Chelsea Football Club at the moment. And like many Chelsea fans, I'm kind of lost with it. There's good moments with a lot of them and bad moments with a lot of them as well. But I get it. Rudy is the oldest. Maybe they want to replace him with someone... A, another young centre-half? But it kind of feels like you need seniority in that back, like that back line. So it's difficult. I don't really understand. I'm keen to get your thoughts and opinions on the Chelsea centre-back situation. Who would you keep and who would you sell? Would you sell Rudiger if you could get some good money for him? And who would you even bring in? Another young centre-half or an older, more experienced one? A bit like Antonio Rudiger. It's a strange situation. Also, I'm really keen to get everyone's thoughts and opinions on the N'Golo Kante situation. Get down in the comment section below. Let me know. Keep or sell, or what's your price? Let me know your price for selling N'Golo Kante. That would be a really interesting topic. <laughs> and finally, Ben Chilwell. How do you feel about Ben Chilwell? Would you take him? Would you disregard the poor form in the latter stages of the season and just see potential in, in him in this Chelsea side? 
Let me know your thoughts on Ben Chirwell down in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed this content I provided to you, you guys today, why not like the video? Helps me out a lot. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new to football therapy. It's important and you hit the bell notifications icon as well. You're welcome to follow me on social media where I'm doing Instagram lives all the time at Football Yannick, so follow me there. Other than that, guys, you enjoy <laughs> the football that's not happening, and I'll see you later. Way so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.